I heard that statins only add four days to your life. So even the authors that published that study said it was inaccurate. They used these projection models and it was totally wrong. Imagine you take a smoker, lifelong smoker, and based on the data, he's supposed to die by age 71 due to lung cancer. He starts smoking at age 17. He smokes all the way till he gets lung cancer at 71 and dies. Around age 40, he quits smoking for a year or two, but then he resumes again. How likely is that cessation of smoking for a year or two to add more days to his life? Probably zero. It's the same thing with these studies on statins. You put somebody on a medicine for a year or two and then stop, it's really not that effective. You need a lifelong exposure to low LDL, not high LDL, to reduce your risk. We, projection models have projected out that statins can add decades to people's lives. We have added decades. Since the, since the 1800s and 1900s, we've tripled people's lifespans, and incredibly so with modern medicine and technology. We, we haven't had statins around that long, so we don't know, like, you know, what, what happens if you're on it for 100 years? We don't know. The longest, they've been around since 1987, you know, the lovastatins and pravastatins and whatnot. So we will know eventually the answer to that, but we know based on prediction models and algorithms that if somebody's LDL is super, super low, like these people who are born with super, super low LDLs, like the hypobeta lipoproteinemia people, you're born with an insanely low LDL, you'll never get heart disease. And if that's the number one killer, that will never happen to you. So we know based on models that they would add decades to your life. So don't listen to the online grifters that are selling you some nonsense.